Hello to all and welcome on the Watches TV and 2020 is naturally a special year for the lucky owners of perpetual calendar watches as it is a leap year and for those concerned, well, uh, you've been waiting for this special moment for the last four years and therefore we decided to accompany you in this flamboyant celebration coming this uh, 29th of February, a date seen only every four years and uh, we do so as a testimony to your perseverance and this long wait by going all in on the QP Galore experience, kind of an artistic performance where we'll show you in real time the actual date indication passage of uh, this uh, special event and we'll do so with nothing less than some pretty sweet timepieces, a special firework just for you, listen to this, Greuvel Force QP à Equation, MBNF Legacy Perpetual, the recently released yellow gold version, Vacheron Constantin Patrimony, 14 days tourbillon perpetual calendar, Beauvais Fleurier Grande Complication Virtuoso 3, à Lange and Zöne Saxonia Perpetual and finally the Jacques Hedro Eclipse perpetual calendar. But before sharing more details about this video festival, thanks to the Ambassador Boutique here in the Geneva and to MBNF who made uh, these watches available, let's very quickly remind ourselves what is a perpetual calendar. And personally, I have to say that it's really one of my favorite complications uh, for its ingenuity and intricacy. And to make it very, very short, well, QPs are mechanically programmed machines made to handle date exceptions, like a mechanical computer. And like computers, well, you have smart and powerful ones and you have Pentium 286 versions with the odd blue screen for those who still know what I'm talking about. But let's also clarify why we refer to uh, perpetual calendar watches as QPs. Well, QP is the French acronym for quantième perpétuel and quantième is an old French word uh, not really used anymore, which basically means the date. So by perpetual date, well, this simply means that the display date will always be the correct one, but also all other calendar information such as uh, day, month and year indication. And for this last one, well, sometimes you have actual year displayed and or just the leap year counter one, two, four. So the first QP timepiece goes back to the mid 18th century, 1762 to be precise, and is the work of English watchmaker Thomas Mudge. And it's only in the mid to late 19th century that this invention was replicated at a larger scale by Patek Philippe in pocket watches, a know-how pursued by the brand in wrist watches with, for instance, the ex extremely famous uh, 1518 series, the grail of many collectors, a watch from the 1940s, today fetching millions at auctions. QPs continue to be developed by quite a few brands and regarding how it works and since this is not really the point of uh, today's video, well I really invite you to check a report we did already a little while back and part of our calendar saga, link below, uh, where you'll understand everything about perpetual calendar watches, even the secular calendar watch which holds a really crazy special gear rotating on itself in 400 years to correct uh, one day every 400 years and next occurrence of this one will be in uh, the year 2100. So I told you it was a pretty intricate mechanism but unfortunately intricate rhymes with the word delicate as QPs have often been the nightmare of after sales service departments, generally after some misuse and it's quite uh, easy to understand why. The huge majority of QPs are manually uh, wound watches and as long as your watch works non-stop, well, no problem. But that uh, would really be an exception in itself, apart if you have one of those uh, mechanical automatic uh, winding system. So if it stops, and they generally do, well, it's generally up to the owner to fix the date back and that's when the trouble starts and it can get real bad and ugly, not only only showing totally improbable dates, but worse by seriously damaging the mechanism and the many gears and cams involved. And to caricature this even more, while well, some QPs didn't even have leap year indicators, so there was absolutely no way of knowing what the heck you were doing and had to send the watch back to the watchmaker simply to look inside and determine the year. Well, you understand the problem in general, and that's the reason why we've uh, recently seen some much more clever QPs appear. And in the video we're about to share with you, well, uh, we have uh, two great examples of this with the Grubel Force and the MENF models, which are really easy to use with fail-safe features. Uh, that's what I call a fine and adequate definition of ergonomy. Okay, and I've said about the background around QPs, and let me come back on the announcement of the day because I really thought it was fun, uh, it was a fun idea to share with you this unique moment of this uh, 
date passage, uh, but we will do so respectfully of the actual date of the 29th of February, and we will therefore publish one video after the other on that specific date. So videos that you can compare in a certain way uh, to these uh, fire chimney videos with not much going on. Yes, well, no blah blah, just these fine watches individually on display like a video wallpaper. And in real time, you'll be able to witness what's going on on the dial side. Uh, when does the action start? Which indication first? How long does it take? Is the jump instantaneous? Well, just so much suspense and thrill. The best way to spend some time in front of your TV meditate and enjoy the show, have a beer or two, follow up on some whiskey or tea, uh, well, you'll be in for a peaceful watchmaking introspective moment, but obviously you can cheat and fast forward the videos. It's up to you and just uh, leave it uh, running in the background. Mm -hmm. And to be totally transparent with you, well, initially I wanted to be able to share these videos live and be in, a, in tune with the midnight uh, passage of many different time zones. Would have been uh, even cooler to do so, but uh, just a bit uh, complicated technically. Hopefully in four years uh, we'll be able to come up with a pretty ingenious technical setup to do so uh, as we like pushing boundaries of the absurd. And to wrap up this video with uh, quickly, uh, quickly we just wanted to remind that uh, to some that the Rolex Oyster Perpetual is no perpetual calendar watch. Perpetual simply meaning here automatic. Anyhow, I can't wait to publish this on the, this Saturday. I'm not expecting to make millions of views with this, but just love the exercise, like I said, almost an artistic experience. So all the best to all. Don't hesitate to check uh, this video about uh, how it works. Link below on, or on our website and a massive Viva Watchmaking to you. Massive.